Hello everybody, this is Ali Reza. Welcome to another tutorial of my YouTube channel, Kian.Smart Home. This video is related to upgrading Tasmata devices to latest firmware. If you want to upgrade, stay tuned. However, upgrades will actually not touch your settings, so you can keep using devices after the upgrade exactly as before, but it is better to create a backup before upgrading your device. Assuming you have access to the web interface of your device. If not, simply type the IP address of the device into your browser. And if you do not know the address, try checking in your router or use an IP scanner. Let's create a backup before upgrading the device. In Tasmata web interface, I click on configuration button. Then select backup configuration. A backup file is created and is stored in my PC. Later, if I want that, I can use it. Let's go to main menu. How to update Tasmota to a newer version? Newer Tasmota firmware files are too big for the small available storage on most devices. Trying to upgrade directly upgrade to the next version will result in an error. To avoid that, upgrade to a minimal version first and then upgrade again to the full new version. By clicking on information button, in the new page you will see many more details about your Tasmata devices including the current software version. The upgrade can be done via the firmware upgrade button in the main menu. It will take you to a new screen where you can upgrade either via OTA URL or via manual file upload. OTA update, which is abbreviation of over the air update, means you can update Tasmota by telling the device to directly pull the new firmware from a server and then update. You can find all newer versions in the official OTA server, which I have put the link in description. Upgrade via manual file upload. If the OTA update is not working or you do have the bin files at hand, you can also update manually by clicking the file upload button and selecting your Tasmota file. Start by selecting the minimal version of the firmware. Have in mind that. Let's start upgrading my device, which is Sono 3 channel smart switch running on Tasmot. This is the official OTA page. You can find the firmware links and the URLs, the time stamp, version and size. I select Tasmota minimal.bin. By clicking on it, it will be saved in my PC. Let's switch to Tasmota web interface. In upgrade by the file upload, I select choose file, go to downloads, select Tasmota minimal.bin, click open, select a start upgrade. Upload started, we have to wait till upgrading is finished. Upload successful, device will restart in a few seconds. I click on main menu. This is the minimal version. As you can see, minimal firmware is written in red. The minimal version will show a very simple UI, which will allow you to upgrade to the full new version, as more storage is available now. After each upload, you just have to wait a couple of seconds until the UI is available again. Okay, I click on firmware upgrade. I switch to the server page. I select the tasmoto.bin. It is stored in my PC. Then I switch to Tasmoto web face. Again, in upgrade by file upload section, I click on choose file, select tasmoto.bin. 
click open select start upgrade upload started upload successful device will restart in a few seconds I click on main menu let's check it. I click on information in this page you can see that program version is 9.4.0 Sonoff 3 channel touch switch is upgraded to the latest firmware of Tazmata I hope you have enjoyed this video if you have any question do not hesitate to leave comments bye bye